Smoking is a habit that was once fantasized in entertainment. Most smokers start because it was cool. We asked some students what their thoughts on smoking were and whether they believed it is still fantasized in movies and TV today. Uh, I think in, in some ways uh, the media still fantasizes, makes smoking seem a little bit appealing. You see movies like, you know, as recent as The A-Team where you see Liam Neeson smoking a lot and uh, and like just, just how how, how great it looks in, in movies. They really do make it look like it's the thing to do. I don't think it is as much. Um, I mean, of course, it was a lot more uh, prior to the 90s, I guess. Um, Seinfeld, for a while, tried to bring out cigars as uh, kind of touting that. And um, I guess Mad Men would be a good example right now of a TV show that has a lot of smoking. But, I mean, that's contextual. Like, it takes place in an office in the 60s. So, um, yeah, I think, I think when it's in context, it's okay. Um, but yeah, when it's just uh, people smoking for the sake of smoking, that's not good and I don't see as much of that anyway. Uh, no, I don't think it's as much as it used to because when I watch an older movie compared to a new movie, you don't see everyone smoke in the movies like you do in movies from 20 years ago. So no, I don't think it's fantasized in movies anymore. After finding out that 47,000 Canadians die each year of smoking-related illnesses, this reporter thinks it might be time to butt out.